Okay, now let's say if we want to, uh, whenever we change the value of this field, then uh, Maximo will look up the work order record and populate its details into this uh, log uh, text area. Uh, say uh, we populate it with the description of the work order, the type of the work order, and uh, name of the supervisor, for example. Then in order to do that, then we will need to extend the uh, uh, field class of this field. So I'm going back to Eclipse to do that. So first I will need to create a new package. Oh, sorry, I will need to add a new class. Let's uh, call it field work num. Okay. Now, uh, remember earlier we have extended a uh, unit cost field of the PLI object, so we can uh, copy paste some of the code here just to reuse to make uh, it a bit faster. Okay, going back here, paste it here. Okay, and now what we have to do is remove this thing. In this case, we gonna have to extend the extend, for a field. We have to extend the uh, MBO value adapter class. We have to import it. Constructor, yep. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is let get the uh, parent uh, asset log record first. So we call it asset log uh, record. We're gonna this. Uh, we're gonna convert it to MBO remote. Okay, so we have the parent record here. Now we, in the end, we're gonna set the value back to uh, the asset lock. I'm gonna set it to the uh, description field, I think. Yeah, description. So we're gonna set the description here with the name of the uh, detail yep so I'm gonna define a little detail string here all right so basically now we need to get the work order record reference in this asset log record so to do that then we can use the relationship that we have defined earlier so let's do that by uh, calling and your set remote we call it set set we can use the get uh, and your set from this record we use a uh, MBO set and then we use the relationship that we have defined earlier so we use book order yep so import this as well and now we've got the MBO set in this case the MBO set will have only one record so we will uh, get the work order record we're gonna get the first instant and with this, then we can use some of the get string method to get the detail of the fields of this record. So we're gonna get, let's say, this equal get string get the description. And we're gonna do the same for the uh, order type. and then soup we're gonna get the supervisor yep and now we're gonna uh, create our detail string uh, so we're gonna have uh, 
look a bit nicer. I'm gonna add a new line. We're gonna call it soup, and probably we're gonna have uh, some uh, thing here as well. It's just a replace holder. Not yeah. Now we're going to set it back here. So yeah, I think that's it. Now let's uh, deploy our code. Okay, and now let's uh, make it reload. It's gonna take some time, so okay. Let's try to change the value of this thing. Yep, so basically when we change the value of this field, then it will look up the work order record and populate its detail into this field. Okay, try to do that again. Yep, so it updated with the uh, different uh, work order details. Yep, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.